I'm listening to You're listening to You are listening to You're listening to Kenny you're listening You're listening to Active FM to Active FM to Active FM FM to Active FM Hey 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 and welcome to the political show right here on Active FM where radio has never been better I'm your girl Cynthia but you know you can call me Gix and with me in studio we have Gavin Enslin. Pastor Gavin Enslin and... The Black Knight. The Black Knight. And like I said, you're listening to The Political Show right here on Active FM. Where radio has never been better and Christ politics is... Hot politics. Hot politics. And this week's hot politics, well, it is... What are we speaking about this week? It's red out hypocrisy. Yes. That is what we're speaking about. It's crazy, crazy. Yes. Do you want to explain? So the church has been restricted since the 26th of March 2020. In fact, it was the 20th of March 2020 when we first were restricted to 100 people. Mm-hmm. So that was the first thing that happened. <coughs> and then the, the the we haven't, I mean, at the moment, you know, well, up until recently we were sitting on 250 max. Now what's happening now is that we're in election season. And so all, all of a sudden, just in time for election season, they extended to 750, uh, you know, can, can attend large gatherings indoors and 2,000 outdoors, mm. just in time for the politicians. Mm-hmm. And um, the, the, <laughs> the level of hypocrisy in terms of this whole thing is, is astounding. And the, the thing that surprises me is not the hypocrisy because the hypocrisy has always been there. What astounds me is how blatantly they're doing it. Mm. It's like obvious they're doing it. Yeah. People don't pick it up. Yep, 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 yep. So that's what we're going to be speaking about. It's going to be quite, quite interesting. And we're going to be comparing this to a book. If you want to know what book it is, you have to continue listening. But it's a very famous book. Well, I don't know how famous it is. I know that we did it a lot in high school. What we did in high school. Yeah, I think it's pretty famous. Mm. And I think of the book every time I have bacon and egg. <laughs> He's given a very interesting <laughs> clue about the book. Here's now, I don't... Know if you guys have read Animal Farm. Yes, indeed. I've read Animal Farm. Black no, nope. I've I've seen a movie. Okay, that's ba- ba- yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't I haven't read. What was it called? I think it w- it was Animal, Animal Farm. Animal Farm has a movie. Yeah. So okay, so yeah. you watched the film edition. Yeah. <laughs> so we read books. <laughs> Black Knight <laughs> watches the movie of the book. Yes, yes. So Animal Farm is after 1984 George Orwell's most famous book, published in 1945. The novella at under 100 pages is too short to be called a full-blown novel, tells the story of how a group of animals on Animal Farm overthrow the farmer who puts them to work and set up an equal society where all the animals work and share the fruits of their labors. However, as time goes on, it becomes clear that the society and the uh, the animals have constructed is not equal at all. It is well known that the novella is allegory for communist Russia under Joseph Stalin, who was leader of the Soviet Union when Orwell wrote the book. Yeah, and there's a famous quote that comes from that book. <coughs> all animals are equal, mm-hmm. but some animals are more equal than others. Yes. And obviously what this, what he, what he, the, the reason he wrote this book was, um, you know, to uh, as an allegory, so it's like a story um, to explain what was happening, you know, in, in Bolshevik Soviet Union, mm. the Bol- Bolshevik uprising, and, and it was the uprising of the workers, they said. So when uh, first Lenin and uh, then Trotsky and then later on Stalin, when they all got into power, um, what the people said, it's the, 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 the people shall govern, and it's it's the... The, the 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 rulership of the the working class mm. Mm. but uh, um, if you know the history of the Soviet Union that's not actually how it was yeah and in fact um, the the likes of Stalin went on to kill even more people than Hitler yeah mm. uh, now people were ru- were ruthlessly oppressed and actually what they had under Stalin um, on the one end was far worse than what they had under the Tsar which mm. was their king you know prior to the uprising and then in addition to that, um, obviously Stalin introduced his huge work programs mm. and he, 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 he uh, built a, a, a whole massive uh, underground railway system in Moscow and, you know, all of these sorts of things. So um, basically everyone got paid the same mm. according to how many people you had in your family. And that's what communism says. You only get enough to supply your needs. Mm. 
and uh, uh, so everyone works and everyone the theory goes shares in the fruit of their labor equally mm. and uh, obviously that's how animal farm starts they they throw the farmer off because they say he's oppressing him now all animals are equal mm. and uh, then what starts happening after a while some animals are more equal than other mm. and that's the pigs yep. and the pigs then use the dogs as their army and mm. and all sorts of things and uh, the book actually ends with a, with a, um, a, a scene that it describes that, that's quite terrifying actually where the animals come and they look into the window in the house and the pigs are having a party there's humans there the pigs are standing on their hind two legs so standing up straight like human beings mm. wearing suits and things and um, the animals are looking at the pigs they're looking at the humans and um, there's really not too much difference mm. here's the thing and why uh, the system doesn't work. The Bible tells you why it doesn't work. Because um, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And what happens with communism and systems like that, m uh, and, and the more socialistic you go, the more this becomes prevalent, is that the more you head um, in the direction of full-blown communism, the more socialistic you become, the more power is centralized in a few people in the central government. Mm. So when people when, when people that, are that, 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 that have sinned, have all of this power, then the outcome's not going to be good. Yeah. So that's what they're talking about. And then they claim equality, that everyone's equal before the law. But the ruling class are the pigs in the animal farm story. And then what happens is, is that um, everyone starts out as equal. But as time goes on, the ruling class are more equal than others. And I just want to give an example of what's happening in South Africa. So obviously, the ANC took over with many, many socialistic ideas in 1994 under Nelson Mandela, they said that the National Party, which was the, uh, the government that had brought in apartheid, mm. that they were corrupt and that the, all the guys in the National Party were fat cats. They used to always use the word fat cat. Um, and they promised to clean everything up. Now, the, you know, obviously it starts out everyone's equal. And today in South Africa, we're in a situation where you see some people are more equal than others. So you don't see an equal, um, you know, meeting out of justice. Mm. Um, you also see people who received what they called reconstruction and development, that's RDP, houses. And uh, now after 10, 15, 20 years living in the house, um, some person who's connected to some government person comes and kicks them off the land and takes over the house mm -hmm. and then often, sell often sells it as at quite a big profit. And the last example I want to give of this is, the, you know, what are the things that were supposed to be done? You know, land redistribution under the willing buyer, willing seller model. And the government would, 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 would foot the bill. They would, they would pay the farmer for the land and things like that. Now, black farmers moved on to farms. The government, because they're communistic, never gave them the title deeds. Mm. And either the farmer goes and they fight the government and they win a case in court, or else very often the government comes, kicks them off, and all of the improvements that they've made on the farm, they lose. Mm. And in order to fight the court case, they go to court, they lose the court case, and then what happens is, on top of that, they've got to, um, you know, um, all, all the money that 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 they that, that they'd made from the farm, that goes into the legal costs, mm. or their own legal costs as well as that of the state, mm. and so they lose everything, yeah. because some animals are more equal than others. Sure. Yeah, and. We're going to now look at a very recent, two very recent events that actually put that, that base, that, that rule. So it was the first rule in animal, animal Farm. So they came up with Ten Commandments, and the very first one was all animals are equal. And then at the end of the, by the end of the book, they add, uh, but, not, but others are more equal than uh, others. And the first one is, so in, in Cape Town, Cape Town is one of the uh, city ma major cities in South Africa and stuff. In Cape Town, there was a protest that happened, and this is what um, the the headline of the the article says: "Anti-vax protest turns violent in Sea Point. Sea Point is a tourist attraction and area in in Cape Town as well. Yeah. Two men were arrested at, at an anti-vax protest in in Sea Point on the promenade on Saturday, which was last week." 
Last Saturday. Last Saturday. Last Saturday. The protest attended by about 100 people, so about 100 people, was the fifth protest in Cape Town this year where protesters were against mandatory vaccines and vaccine passports. Police spokesperson... Okay, I want to just interrupt. Yeah. So they call them anti-vaxxers. Yes. They're not anti-vaxxers. They're protesting against vaccine mandates. Yep. There's a big difference. Mm -hmm. So the the... the so this, this news article is biased against against those guys. Yes, yes. Now, police spokesperson Captain F.C. Van Veek say two men aged 25 and 51 were arrested on charges of failing to wear a mask in public, contravening the Disaster Management Act. So that's the reason that they were. And I want you to remember that. So that's the reason that they were what's this, uh, arrested. Now, Nolene Glasgow, a drama teacher from Plumstead, was injured at the protest while defending another protester who had a child with them. Glasgow was hit with a baton by a police officer. And this is what she says, I was concerned for the child's emotional well-being. I was more worried about his emotional state. Glasgow said she couldn't believe the police would hurt someone with a child. They kept on saying, this is your fin friendly police force. How friendly was that? The Plumstead residents said police officers were aggressive and rude. They came as if they wanted to make an arrest. They were extremely aggressive. Another protester, Malika Harris, said she was surprised at the police presence at the protest. There was a lot of police intimidation at today's peaceful protest. The, the police and their vehicles were parked all along the main road. So that's how. So they basically brought on a, a whole lot of police and stuff for a protest of 100 people mm. and, and, and stuff. But then also, over the weekend, uh, EFF leader Julius Malemba led the party's local government election campaign on Friday, so it was last week, in Madibeng mun municipality in the northwest. So northwest is one of our provinces. A sea of red supporters, a sea mm. of red supporters, went to listen to Malema at a community meeting in Ward 38, where he told supporters the EFF wants to give community members proper housing and land. The party's theme for this election is land and jobs, manje, which means now. Now, if you look at the pictures, there is, and in some articles they say about 2,000, and we know that they're just trying to play it down, but if you look at the pictures, there are a whole, you just see red, literally just see red and if you look in the pictures people are not wearing masks so if in the no social distancing no social distancing first of all and people are not wearing masks and 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 things like that but there's no article. and they were singing yeah 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 viva eff viva yeah that's what they were shouting yeah yeah, Viva true. Comrade Julius Malema, Viva, they were shouting. Mm. So that's like, you know, when you're singing in church. Mm -hmm. But where were the police? Where were the arrests? There's no, there's I'm no I'm article. sure the police were there. <laughs> yeah. Where yeah. were the arrests? There weren't any. Exactly. If you go look, you won't find an article that speaks about the fact that two people, 25 and 51, were arrested because they were at now the couldn't EFF couldn't you rally. Couldn't you have put the headline as such? Over 2,000 anti-government protesters gather <laughs> to hear Julius Malema speak <laughs> because they support the EFF so yeah. they're anti-government yeah 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 it yeah. would be more accurate than calling those other guys anti-vaxxers <laughs> true so now that's where the whole thing comes into effect now some everyone is equal under the law but some people are just more equal than others so if you're an EFF supporter and you go to the rally then hey you're more equal than others if you go to the anti-vax, anti-vax protest, then you're definitely not equal. And if the, you're caught not wearing a mask, they will arrest you or they'll beat you up with a baton and, and, and things like that for trying to protect a child, that a, a woman or pers uh, another person who has a child and whatever. So, yeah, what are your thoughts? Yeah, well, first of all, I mean, if you look at Julius Malema himself and this whole thing that we, we've actually discussed this at Black Knight before, the fact that, um, you know, all are not equal before the law. Mm. So if you look at Julius Malema, he's been charged for assault mm -hmm. on video, caught on video. Now, Black Knight, if you were if you were charged for assault, all right, would they argue your case in court before you've been to jail? <laughs> no. They arrest you first and yeah. then they release you on bail. Yeah. Then you can prepare for your trial. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. 
So he hasn't spent a day in jail. He's been charged with assault. Mm. It's been and, and, and the charge is serious enough that it's been to court. Mm. But he hasn't spent a day in jail. So, you know, when when you analyze that, <laughs> you know, uh, South Africa is not a just society. Mm. Because your politicians do what other people get arrested for and they're fine. Mm. They're allowed. Mm. Yes. So um Unfortunately, we s we've seen quite a bit of straw and hay, you know, <laughs> and cattle and maybe ducks and chickens because we're on the animal farm. Basically. Yep. Uh, Black Knight, what are your thoughts? Um, <laughs> you, 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 you can't even say it's unfair <laughs> 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 because that won't even help. Mm. <laughs> um, but... It's 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 out there um, that we 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 are going into a communistic um, country, if I may say, um, because yeah, they 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 all act like they are not one, but they are one. Um, we, we we can tell how they won with this situation. No one, other than the a the party ACDP, mm. that that's the only party that I know of that that goes against what the majority are saying mm. um, but either than that it's it's funny these guys used to fight together when they when they in the um, when they in the house of parliament mm. they would, they would fight like you'd see that okay you'd, you'd even believe that you know what they don't like each other for real but now that never happens the, the only time they would fight is that you know they slow with vaccines um <laughs> and they slow with vaccines or um, they're not handling this pandemic properly. It's 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 now it's it's no more about the people. And I thought you're, you're there for the people, mm. by the people, but that's not even there. It's like you're just there for yourself, mm. by yourself. <laughs> so um, yeah, uh, there's nothing much to say either. Then that's what we're living. We are living in a we 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 are living in a communistic ideal even though it's not been said that we are under communism but we are living that yeah. and um and um li like we can see that um not everyone is equal under the law especially if you're a politician yeah. um or you're a businessman with money we, we know that works too yeah i'll just say we're not under a full on communist system at this point yeah mm. um but the people that are in charge would love it for I mean, the the ideology says we must be a full-on communist state. Mm -hmm. In fact, we've spoken about the National Democratic Revolution before, which mm -hmm. underpins the entire policy of the African National Congress in South Africa: the Economic Freedom Fighters, the Serbian Communist Party, the trade unions. You know, they all are dedicated to the National Democratic Revolution. Yeah. Mm. So um, I would just say we're not we're not a communist place. No, yet. no, no, no. I did say we're not yet. All right. It's 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 no 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 no. But uh, but oh what yes I what yes I am yes. saying is, the people who are in charge of us, mm -hmm. that's yeah. where they want to take mm -hmm. us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I Definitely. mean, if you if you read the book by George Orwell or you watch the movie like Black Knight, <laughs> uh, what's this? You actually see it starts off. I mean, or if you read the comic like Black Knight, <laughs> 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 it starts off with, you know, it makes sense. The people are oppressing uh, mm. the people. The humans are oppressing the animals and whatever. And old major, the original pig who came up with this idea and stuff before he died and stuff, had he saw a a, a, a place where there was peace amongst the animals and not being oppressed and stuff like that. But when the pigs took over and whatever, the by the end of the book, the animals are worse off with the pigs in s in charge than when they were with the animals. But the trick, the trick in it is that the humans that were oppressing, they now look like the pigs. Exactly. So the humans were still in charge. The pigs were also being used. No, the pigs. Well, okay. I think that's uh, that. That uh, is a no. debate for another time. <laughs> yeah, not in the book. No, 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 not in the book. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, they threw they threw the farmer out. Yes. You see, um, that sucks. Y you have to go back and realize what you're talking about here in terms of um, the Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, not only did they um, did they chuck the czar out, they killed his bloodline. Mm. They killed every uh, living descendant that they could find of the czar. Um, so it wasn't that the czar was using them. Mm -hmm. They overthrew the czar and they put up a new system, if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. But they became that which they overthrew, which they overthrew. and even worse. Mm. Yes. 
So I don't want mm. anyone to feel sorry for the pigs because mm. if you read that book, <laughs> <laughs> they actually, that's exactly what they are. They're yeah, pigs. they actually use the correct animal for yeah. <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah, that's one thing I said. Now they here's another right. bombshell. So apparently, okay, I can't handle all these bombshells <laughs> today. <laughs> apparently, the fourth wave was due on the 30th of November in South Africa. But obviously, we have the elections coming up on the 1st of November. Mm, so they've delayed it. So the fourth wave, ha wave has been postponed <laughs> and, and stuff. And um, there, li there literally are people saying that. Yeah. I've, heard, I've heard that from a few. In fact, Black Knight was the last one that told mm. me mm. that someone came to him complaining that the, the fourth wave has been, been postponed. <laughs> but to be honest with you, <laughs> I've heard this from, from probably about five or six people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... What let's l tell me your thoughts on that quick, quick, quick thoughts on the fact that how is it possible that the fourth wave can be postponed? What experts or what are your thoughts on the fact that I mean it was due on the thirtieth of November? Firstly, how do they know the date that the fourth wave was due, and then now they're postponing it to well they're January. Not well, they're yeah, they've they're said it's postponed. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the, the the journalists are not journalists. Eh? I mean, the moment they come and say experts or epidemiologists, you know, you, you talk like that when you're just talking. <laughs> you know, like, like you know, if, if I want to quote the Bible on stage, and I'm not sure which verse it is, mm -hmm. I know it's in the Bible. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then I say, scholars say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, when you're reporting on things like that, where's the epidemiological model? Mm. Um, they, don't, they don't publish it. They just say, experts say the fourth wave's coming. Mm. Now, you can't sue them because you have to go back to their source and prove that their source was wrong, but they're not giving you their source. Mm. So what they're giving you is a rumor. Um, yeah, you know, and uh, like in, in, in terms of that, obviously it breeds a huge amount of distrust mm. Mm. that the people have for the media. Yeah. You know, the, the, the moment they say, epidemiologists say or experts say, you know, you've you got to take whatever they're saying with a pinch of salt. And I'm not sure which is worse. If they say the fourth wave is going to happen in December, all right, um, and then it doesn't happen, or if they say the fourth wave is going to happen in December and it does happen, I'm not sure which is worse. Yeah. But wouldn't they put us in lockdown either way? If no, no, they say that it's going to happen, then they would put us yeah, in a higher yeah. level of lockdown. I mean, if they say it's going to happen, it keeps happening. Mm. Yeah, that's true. You know, um, are the people warning you causing it? That's a question you've got to ask. That's mm. a very deep question. Black Knight, your final thoughts? Um, I just, to, 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 the to, the, to our listeners, especially in South Africa, I would just say that if you listen to our shows, carefully we keep on repeating like the same thing you know it is about the law and this so wha what i'm trying to say is that just look into what we're saying and see that the government is really um they're really controlling us in some in some form because we keep on repeating the same thing um yeah so just just uh, just look into wha wha what's happening and what we're saying and Let's do something about it. That's all I can say. <laughs> Let <laughs> us know your thoughts on our social media platforms. This is a political show where Christ politics is. Hot politics. Hot politics. In Second Thessalonians 1 verse 4, it says, We proudly tell God's other churches about your endurance and faithfulness in all the persecutions and hardships you are suffering. Yeah, uh, the organization around the world that has really borne the brunt you know, of lockdowns and even in South Africa now, they're wanting to force that um, in order for you to allow people into church, they must have a vaccine. You must have had the vaccine. So Black Knight was saying, you know, whatever we do, we need to do something. So what is it that we do? Well, according to this, what we do is that um, we've got to have an endurance and a faithfulness that someone like the Apostle Paul could brag about. And then it says, um, you know, that... Um, We've got to have an endurance. Now, what the Bible says is that if we endure for the faith, we keep preaching the gospel. Um, if we keep giving ourselves to the Lord, in Galatians 6, it speaks about, you know, do not, do not be weary in doing good. Mm. For in due season, you will reap a harvest. 
you know, if you, if, you, if you stand strong, if you endure. And so it's very, very important that we understand that the Lord is calling us to stand strong. The Lord is calling us to endure. Uh, the, Lord, the, the Lord is calling us, you know, to, to, um, you know to, to, to be the light of the world. If you're a believer, what a, you've got to come to terms with what does it mean to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. And I do sense we're moving into a world where you're not going to be able to just comfortably go to church. You're going to be put in a position where you're going to be forced to make a call. Mm. Am I standing with the Lord? Yes or no? Mm. My, my advice is to stand with the Lord. It's way better to stand with the Lord than to stand against Him. Mm. Amen. 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 Let us know your thoughts on our social media platforms. I'm your girl, Cynthia, but you know you can call me Gix. And with me in studio, we've got... Gavin Enslin. Pastor Gavin Enslin and... The Black Knight. The Black Knight, right here on The Political Show on Active FM, where radio has never been better. And Christ politics is... Hot politics. Hot politics.